just felt like eternity because it's so hot. So we just got to Phuket. I was gonna do a vlog earlier, but it was just a trip from hell. Poor old Mali. Did not enjoy that long flight. And so we were tired as had no energy to vlog. And then also they lost their luggage in um, Singapore. So we got to Phuket. I had no bags. My partner, she's smart. So she always takes her baggage carry on. I did not take it carry on. So I have no luggage. So had to buy a $100 pair of shorts at the airport. And hopefully my stuff turns up today. Okay, so my gear has not turned up. Uh, I've been borrowing Frank's gear. So yeah, that's um, that's kind of annoying. So hopefully it turns up in a couple of days. Jetstar, I really hate you for this because I have no clothes. Recycling undies, but whatever. I'm gonna go train with Andrew Wood. I don't think I've really introduced him um, to this YouTube channel before, but he's one of my day one boys from Phuket. Um, from about 10 years ago, maybe more, and uh, he's my strength guy. So uh, I'm gonna put up a little video of what we're gonna end up doing today and uh, give you guys an idea of, I don't know, some things to train maybe, but this is big wood. Here we are. Look at this place. Unreal, so awesome, so proud of the boys. What are you doing over here? Holding down the fort. He's on the train station. He's on the train station. Eight months with his back. We're changing shape. We're going from round. We're going. We're going from round to an hourglass. What you saying, Northern Fork and Ferry? Stop, mate. mate, you're on the vlog. Oh, well, we're doing the football bar for us today. We're doing one exercise because that's the capacity of Woods aerobic. <laughs> yeah, I'll think, think of the rest as we go. He's on Generally YouTube. If he's on YouTube, find a workout. Show me your phone. <laughs> Our local noodle soup spot. Hey Marty. But you're just gonna eat your rice. Personally I love these spots. I think I the food too. tastes better. A lot better, a lot more original. You might get a little bit of bum nam the next day, which is bum water. Oh Marty's got a hold of the camera. <laughs> Yeah, you might get a water, watery bum until your stomach gets used to it, but um, the food's amazing and it's super cheap. So today we decided to go to the Elephant Sanctuary, which is an amazing place. These sanctuaries um, buy these elephants off owners who are mistreating them from anywhere from 40 to 60,000 US dollars. So they're extremely expensive and they bring them and the mahut to the park to, to live and be looked after and show the mahuts there's another way to look after these creatures so the actual mahuts are with the elephants for life because some of these elephants were up to 60 years old 67 years old was the oldest uh, lady and she was actually her name was Mali which is the same name as my daughter so that was quite um, coincidental but we interact with these elephants by feeding them bathing them, giving them a mud bath. So we got to give them a mud bath, put them in this giant car wash and scrub them with like a big coarse bristled broom. They really enjoy it. And it was a very cool experience for my daughter to see these like enormous gentle creatures up close. She wasn't too keen, 
because she's tiny and they're not. But I get it. And even some of the elephants you still couldn't interact with because they've had such harsh lives um, previously that they were still very nervous around people. So they were like a little bit further away and you didn't, didn't go near them. They only had their mahuts near them because um, they were the only people that they trusted, which was quite sad. But the sanctuary is amazing. So if you guys ever get a chance to go and see the Green Elephant Sanctuary, make sure you go there. But enough of that. Time to punch and kick something. Infamous Frank Hickman wrestling session. I'm not on this one today because I overcooked myself this morning doing too much. Uh, but I always hate watching it, I always get FOMO, so I wish I did it now and just suffered tomorrow. But oh well. Looks good though, some good techniques. I'll put a couple in this video. We're gonna knee side change over or change over knee side. We're gonna get to our feet as I cut or as, as, as Shay cuts away from me. My opponent's gonna drop and try to get a takedown, right? So if we're on our feet, it's gonna look like this. He gets to his feet, he goes to cut. I'm gonna take a shot. You're gonna feed him as your hips, all right? So as soon as you cut, opponent's gonna try to reshot. Okay, they're gonna try to get you by surprise, take you down. He goes to cut, I feel it. Oh. Okay, then he's gonna sprawl, go behind. He's gonna block, go behind. Okay, front headlock. I can stay here, here, pull, boom. Or I can stay here, boom. Okay, but we're getting to our feet. Shay's gonna do the right thing if he knee slides and comes up. Look at his feet. He's getting away, he's getting away. I shoot. And he's giving me his hips. So there we have it guys. That is our first bang towel vlog. I'm gonna close this one off with a little bit of footage from the night market that happens every Friday in our area. Really love this place. Awesome food, awesome vibes. Good way to hang out with everybody from the gym at the end of the week. As long as you train hard, put your work in, made that investment for the future. And I'm gonna close this little bit here out with some epic breakdancing. Hey, hey.